A few years ago is when I really connected with myself. I was so happy. Really, I felt like I was on drugs. Everything was just working out. You are. <laughs> you are a chemical factory. And when you tune in, there is the release of drugs in your system, stimulants. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I met the most wonderful woman. And it was natural. The love was just there and it was effortless and it was just comfortable. And it just happened. And then I wobbled a lot to use the word of the day. Yeah, I got too much detail going on. Mm -hmm. And we want to restate that more detail, not too much, just more. The more detail you introduce to any subject, the more potential for wobble. Mm. So you have the ability to stay wobble free as you introduce the new information, but you kind of got to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about during that time, my fears and my, well, let us state it differently or mm -hmm. more accurately. Mm -hmm. My thoughts, which contain more and more of what I didn't want caused me to wobble. And I am now referring to that wobble as fear. I didn't have to be subjective. I didn't have to weigh the pros and the cons so much, but no matter because clarity always comes from it, doesn't it? Right. Right. And during that time I lost her. And I during that time, uh, <laughs> I opened the door for the new relationship that this relationship had afforded me. You can't lose anything. Right. You never lose. You right. never lose. You're always gain. Mm -hmm. You're always gaining. Mm -hmm. So that, that naturally leads me to my question is. If that relationship had continued, mm -hmm. it is our knowing mm -hmm. that the components of it would have caused more attention to more wobble. It was a catalyst to who you really are and what you really want. No regrets mm -hmm. because you didn't leave your trail. Your trail just got clearer. What I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you threw me off and I expected this. Well, he did it on purpose because this is what we do. <laughs> I'm still going to ask it anyway. Yeah. How do I not attract the old relationship? Because I still do want her. How do I attract new, better, clearer? Well, you can never attract the old relationship because the components of the old relationship have evolved all the way around. So it will always be a new relationship, even if the same two people enter into right. it. Right, right. Right. So what you're wanting to do and you are doing it, we could even say have done it, but since you never get it done, we must say are doing it. Mm -hmm. You started this conversation by saying you found yourself. So letting that be the relationship that matters most right. for a while. And then see, it's sort of like where we began today. Here are the factors and we'll break them down as elementary as we can. In the relationship that you are talking about here, in this coupling relationship, there are these factors. There's you and there's the other person. But there's you and your relationship with your inner being. And there's the other person and her relationship with her inner being. So it's more than just the two of you. It's the all of you. So these are the factors. If you're in concert with who you are and she isn't, then it won't be appealing, but you will have more power of influence. So all anyone can do is serve their own alignment with their own source, trusting that law of attraction will bring the equivalent. Now look at it this way. You'll like this relative to relationships. So let's say that you're wobble free about the subject and have been for a while. So there's a lot of momentum going. 
So now law of attraction is bringing you together with others who are also wobble free. But because there are so many of them, you're wobbling because you're afraid you're going to choose the wrong one when any one of them would have been perfect. <laughs> but you're worrying that you won't choose the right one. So you wobble where if you could just not wobble, if you could just say, <laughs> The universe is bringing to me what's a vibrational match to me then you would eventually we're not talking about a lot of time feel the inspiration and you would move along so now stay with us because this is going to really clear up for you here so you're wobble free and you're been wobble free and so lots of wobble free things are coming to you and now you have the opportunity to become even more specific in what you're asking for. So now the universe more specifically, more specifically, more specifically, more specifically brings you something that matches your wobble free details. You hear that? Wobble free, very detailed. Most people, the more detailed they get, the more they wobble. But you've been practicing because you care about the way you feel. You've been practicing getting more and more and more and more detail and you're wobble free. And then the universe yields to you someone else who's right there because the law of attraction never makes a mistake. The law of attraction doesn't bring to a wobble free person, someone who's wobbling. It never works that way. All right. You're with us so far. Let's say though, instead an, an alternative situation is that you're not wobble free because you're lonely or because you miss this person or for whatever reason. So you're wobbling, which means you're thinking about what you want. And you're thinking about the absence of what you want. And you're thinking about what you want. And you're thinking about the absence of what you want. So you've got a pretty good wobble going on. The universe is going to bring you someone just like you who has a pretty good wobble going on. Now, at first you're both going to be sort of distracted from the wobble because something big happened the void of being lonely got filled with the other person so for a little while you won't wobble so much because there's someone that's filling that void but who you've both practiced yourself to be is still there and so under those conditions it's more difficult for you to stay focused upon what you want because the conditions of what you've got are taking a lot that's why we say it's easier to get rid of doubt before it starts it's easier to attract a wobble free relationship before you attract one that wobbles you follow mm -hmm. so it's like saying all right my dominant intent is just not to wobble for a while the relationship that I'm working on is the one between me and me and I'm just gonna get it in such a clear place that then I will trust I will believe I will know that law of attraction will bring me one a person a partner who's a vibrational match to the wobble free being that I have practiced being best discussion we've ever had about relationships and about wobbling too because this is a picture that we want you to have if you're thinking about what you want you're attracting it but if you're thinking about the absence of it you're attracting it and so that's who you are and so the universe is delivering to you all kinds of experiences that match the vibration that you've got going on Esther said the other day Abraham you say you want me to live unconditionally and yet the condition of that tree is a condition I like that tree that tree is a condition that I'm appreciating but it is a condition and we said yes but it is a wobble free condition it's a wobble free condition focus upon the things that are wobble free until you are so wobble free that the details of your wobble free desire will be radiating from you with such velocity that your partner cannot not find you so we know what your question is your question is so can I get there and will she get there and will the universe bring us together and we say that's really not any of your business you think it is but when you make that your business you wobble don't let that be your business